Hey there everyone, this is Piyush. Welcome back to our channel Code Heist. And today, in this video, I am going to discuss a problem from hacker rank that is left rotation of array. So let's see what the question says. A left rotation operation of an array of size n shifts each of the array's element one unit to the left. Given an integer d, rotate the array that many steps left and return the result. So we have to rotate the element of the array d times. So let's check what are the inputs given. The first line will contain two integers separated by a space. The first integer denotes the size of array and the second integer is the d that how many times we have to rotate the array. Now let's understand the question more deeply. Suppose we have an array of 5 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. And let's see what happens when we will rotate it 2 times. Since there is no left position of 1, so 1 will go to the last position and accordingly every element will shift to its left position. And our new array will be like this, 5, nope, 2 will be the first position, so new array will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1. So this is our new array after first operation. Now the same operation will be done again and the new array will be like this 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2. So this is our result. So here you can observe one thing. The first two elements are now the last two elements and the rest of the elements are shifted. So let's check one more condition. What if D will be greater than N? Then update the D with D modulo N. So if D is equal to 6, then D will store the remainder of 6 divided by 5, that is 1. By doing this, we can reduce the number of operation because you can check it yourself the result after six rotations and the result after one rotations will be same now let's do the coding part the coding part is very simple we just have to print the elements of array according to the indexes like from index d to index n minus one and then from index zero to index d minus one so that when d will be equal to two First, the last three element will be printed and after that first two element will be printed and make sure you print all the elements separated by space because the website wants you to print like this you can also create a new array and store the elements according to the index but this is also a way so you can choose any of the way you want the code file is also available in the telegram channel so if you have not joined our channel yet you can join and download the file from there so the coding part is now over now let's compile the code and see the output enter 5 and 2 enter the array 1 2 3 4 5 and i think the output is not visible it's a problem from my screen recorder let's run it again one two three four five and so you can see the correct output five one two three four now let's submit this code in the hacker and website and see if the code performs good in all test cases or not so paste it here and click on submit code okay so you can see the code performs good in all test cases so that's all for this video Still, if you face any issues, let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button and do share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe the channel now for more programming related videos. See you next time.